Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Oh, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are continuing to keep an eye on that all important forecast heading towards the 4th of July weekend. We're going to get back to some heat and in particular, we're going to get back to some humidity in the coming days. Also a little rain to track as well. Average highs 91 here on the 1st of July. We're going to be back above those readings over the next few days, uh, peaking probably in the mid 90s, Wednesday, Thursday, and then dropping back a little bit Friday, Saturday, and that's going to be due to some higher rain chances that will be pushing back in at that point. Here's going to be the main change from today, which didn't feel bad at all if you spend a lot of time outdoors so as we were uh, somewhat comfortable on the muggy meter. Tomorrow, though, no such luck. We're back here into the oppressive range, which is where we will remain through the end of the week and staying in the sticky to oppressive range as well over the weekend and on into next week. So I hope you enjoyed the break in the humidity while we had it. So we will see rain chances return as well with those muggier conditions. However, it'll take a few days for those to really pick back up again. Tomorrow is dry. Only a 10% chance for rain on Wednesday. Thursday, of course, the 4th, 20% chance for some fireworks from Mother Nature. So right now, I don't think wet weather will have a big impact on your plans, although some of you will likely see a few widely scattered showers or thunder showers. Rain chances do look a little bit higher heading into Friday and Saturday. That is when we'll be uh, looking at things a little bit more active again here on Way 31 Triple Doppler. Right now, it's clean sweep. We are going to stay dry overnight tonight. Couple patches of clouds out there right now, and we'll see some more developing heading into early tomorrow morning. Uh, and as we head through the day on your Tuesday, we'll call for a mix of clouds and sunshine. And with a southerly breeze replacing today's northerly wind, the moisture is going to start to surge back in. So you'll notice it gets increasingly muggy through the day tomorrow. But notice at 4 o'clock, we wrap up the afternoon on a dry note. We head into your Wednesday. Again, there'll be some cloud cover at times, but sunshine mixed in. And then Wednesday afternoon, a couple isolated showers pop up. So not a lot, but this will be a return to at least some daily rain chances that will carry us on into the upcoming holiday weekend. All right, here is the latest on Hurricane Barrel. It has been upgraded now. Category 5 storm in the Caribbean. 160 mile per hour sustained winds. The pressure continues to drop. It is moving rather steadily to the west at around 20 two miles per hour. Uh, the only positive about this, no major land areas in its immediate path. Uh, the islands that make up the northern part of the Caribbean underneath the banner here, of course, it's already gone through the Windward Islands where they suffered some damage from this as a major hurricane coming through there. But again, if you look what is ahead, Nothing but blue, uh, which means the bulk and the core of this storm will remain out over the open waters of the Caribbean for a little while longer. You can see where it's going to pass relative to Puerto Rico. This is the island of Hispaniola. Again, the center of the storm will remain well offshore, but likely still at Category 4 strength through tomorrow evening, uh, where we may get some bigger impacts coming up soon will be the island of Jamaica, which is where it's expected to be heading into Wednesday. However, at this point in time, the official forecast does call for it to be weakening. Uh, still could be near major category three strength as it kind of brushes by Jamaica. And then it continues off through the northwestern Caribbean, likely taking another landfall here across the Yucatan as a hurricane. And then it does end up in the southwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it does appear, though, it's most likely the center will get steered into Mexico, but they may get some impacts out of this, particularly with some rainfall there across portions of South Texas. At this point, does not look like any impacts here across the state of Alabama down towards the Gulf Coast, but we'll continue to watch it very closely. Temperatures for us tonight, nice, mid to upper 60s. Enjoy that. We do heat up tomorrow into the upper 80s around the noon hour. We will be in the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon, and that return to a southerly breeze means Means it's going to get humid and sticky once again. 94 for Scottsboro tomorrow. A little cooler though in Gunnersville at 89. 94 to Cater and in Moulton. 97, probably one of the hotter spots out there toward the shoals in the northwest corner of the state. Here's your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day forecast. 94 on your Wednesday, 95 on the 4th. Again, those rain chances stay manageable heading into the start of the holiday weekend. Friday into Saturday, though, better chances for at least a few scattered showers and storms. So kind of factor that into your plans if you're making it a long four day weekend. Temperatures ease back ever so slightly into the low 90s, but it'll stay very hot, very humid right on into next week with continued chances for some daily shower and thunderstorm activity.